Am I wrong for revealing my salary and refusing to pay more rent? I, 25 male, have been sharing my apartment with my friend Alex for four years. About two months ago, Alex asked if I was willing to let a friend of his named Sophie move in with us. I agreed because I planned to make a down payment on a house and move out within two years. By having Sophie around, she could take my place and make it easy so that Alex does not have to worry about any increases in expenses. When Sophie moved in, things were good for two weeks until I had to leave for work. This was when she learned that I was a minor and leave for two weeks at a time. When I got back, my problems with her began when she would constantly talk about climate change. She would constantly try to educate us on how and why we should change our habits. The real frustration was when she started going after me and my job. She would constantly say that within 10 years I will have no job. This was accompanied by having this ridiculous and false notion that I am poor and work for minimum wage. To try and help me, she would constantly give me college program pamphlets and job postings to find a better job. The straw that broke the camel's back was when she brought her parents into this. Sophie made her parents think I am poor, which resulted in them calling me to discuss financial assistance. After declining their help and ending the call, I was absolutely livid. I then sat Sophie down and said that all her talk about my job, finances, and education is really pissing me off and to drop it. In response, she said that she is just trying to help someone worse off. This was when I snapped to her and not only told her my salary, but proof I make $100,000 per year. I then flipped the tables on her and went after her degree in environmental justice. I said that it was worthless and she might as well start working at McDonald's to pay off her debt and she will never get a real job. After our argument, we didn't really speak with each other until after I returned for my next work period. Upon returning this week, she started demanding I pay more for rent as I make more and that I should apologize for what I said to her. I refused and said that if she doesn't like me or the arrangements, she is free to leave at any time. So am I the asshole here? I'm 28 and my husband, 33, comes from a wealthy family and he himself has inherited a number of assets from his relatives. One of them is this huge house where we live in right right now with a pool and a huge backyard with lots of features. We decided to host our first cookout after we got married seven months ago and we invited both his family and mine. On Friday, both families came and we had lots of of fun then everyone went home later. I then got a phone call from my mom and she didn't sound okay. She asked whether or not my husband took money from his family before they attended the cookout. I was confused. I asked what she was talking about and she told me that my husband charged every single person from my side of the family who attended the event $25. I was utterly shocked and very angry and felt like this legitimately damaged my relationship with most of my family because almost all of them came over. Just that, but he got $275 from them. I was so livid, I hung up the phone and confronted him immediately. He told me that my family got to enjoy the space and the view and said that I shouldn't think of it a resort cookout since this house has a lot of luxuries told him it was a horrible thing for him to do and that what made it worse is the fact that his family didn't pay like mine had to. He laughed and reminded me that his family gave him this house. I demanded that he give the money back and he said no and that he won't even give it to me since the house is technically his. I took the money and gave everyone who paid their money back with a sincere apology for me. My husband found out and flipped out calling what I did an overstepping and disrespectful thing. I told him he shouldn't have taken money from my family for being guests at our house. He corrected me saying it's his house and said that he bet my family had never gotten to attend a cookout at a house like this and that it was just $25. He then said I disrespected him and went behind his back and took the money that wasn't mine. He stopped talking after this argument and he keeps venting to his mom about me taking his money that he earned his own way. Am I the asshole for returning the money my husband took from my family for attending our cookout? My wife and I had our second baby two months ago, nine weeks, and as with our first, I am breastfeeding. The first time around, my family were meh about me nursing. I was much more conservative and covered up until we had a dangerous situation where my daughter overheated and breathed in milk. It was very scary. She's fine now, though. Anyway, this time around, I've warded off all types of covers. I am boob-free, and my daughter has a much easier time nursing. My family formula feeds, so this is all new for them. My brother-in-law is less happy with my recent confidence. We all got invited out for my dad's birthday dinner, and obviously, I took my little ones with me. While we were there, my baby got hungry and I fed her, as one does. Afterwards, my brother-in-law mentioned how things like that make him uncomfortable and asked if I'd cover up the baby nursing while eating. I told him no and we ordered. When the food got there, she got hungry again, so I popped out a lady to feed her, you know. He made another comment about not wanting to see boob while he was eating. I was pretty annoyed, so I just apologized with a smile and said something along the lines of, sorry, I'll just get this covered for you, and flung the blanket I had on my lap over his head. I'm still proud of myself for managing it, to be honest. Even if it was an asshole move, it was a damn good throw. A few people outside our family started laughing, and in his flurry to get it off, dropped it into his meal and had to reorder, so we all ate while he had to wait for his food again. I made things pretty tense, but no one mentioned it again. Afterwards, my dad told me that it was immature and he wouldn't be inviting me to a family meal again if that's how I was going to act. Following that, everyone is upset, some even going as far as to call me a bad mother because I was being petty. I personally am not super sure that I was in the wrong, as my wife nor anyone else thinks so, but they all tend to be quite nice to me post-baby due to hormones. Obviously, I feel pretty bad about making him wait for his food, but that wasn't directly my fault. Am I the asshole for tossing a blanket over my brother-in-law's head when he said that he didn't want to see my baby nurse?
What I think is weird is that if you grew up in a super conservative religious environment like myself, probably you had Sunday school teachers telling you things every week like God's greatest gift to humanity is the gift of choice because Jesus literally died for you so that you could seek your own truth and make your own choices. Speaking of Jesus, he was a socialist and when he comes back, we'll probably all be socialists again. Also, did you know that Jesus was an advocate for sluts? Yeah, people in the Bible didn't like sluts. They were like, let's kill the hoes and Jesus was like no don't do that they put these thoughts into our tiny impressionable little brains right and then we grew up into adults and we're like oh you know like universal health care would probably be good and I don't think we should shame women for what they do with their bodies and I just think that everybody should seek their own truth and you know make their choices accordingly and they should be free to do that and these same people who taught you in Sunday school are like who put these radical ideas in your brain why is your generation so corrupt Literally, you did, Sister Edmonds. I caught my neighbor trying to open my apartment door. Should I be worried? Disclaimer is not my story time with me on Instagram. I just moved into my new apartment two months ago. Everything's been completely normal and fine up until a few weeks ago. I went to my mailroom to pick up some packages and there happened to be one of my neighbors there. He says his name is Jerry and he actually introduced himself to me. I had never seen him before, but he just said, hey, how are you? I said, hi. And then he said, are you new to the building? And I confirmed that I was new to the building. That's when he said that I looked familiar to him and he asked me where I went to school. I told him where I went to school and then he started asking me more questions. But the more questions he asked me, the more I realized he was just trying to find me on Facebook. I didn't give him my last name or anything. But ultimately, this guy knows where I live, so I was just like, whatever. That's when he started recommending restaurants and cafes around our neighborhood. He just kept talking and talking and talking. I ended up standing there for 10 minutes, listening to him talk until I told him I had to leave. That's when he said it was so nice to meet me and that he'd see me around. Keep in mind, he does not know what floor I live on at this point. Then a few days later, I see him again at the mailroom. I said hello, but I made sure to act like I was in a hurry. But of course, he had to stop me and we talked again for like 5 minutes. Caught my neighbor trying to open my apartment door. Should I be worried? Disclaimer is not my story time. I said to me on Instagram. I knew he was going to talk my ear off, so I told him I was in a hurry and I had to go. And he says, no worries, maybe we should catch up sometime. And I said, cool, bye. I did not say yes. A few hours later, I get on my Instagram and I see that he started following me. I wasn't super creeped out at this point. I was just like, okay, maybe he's just trying to be friendly. I instantly went and blocked him from seeing my stories. I didn't want him to keep tabs on me that way. Oh, also, I forgot to mention, I work from home. And I do have two dogs. My dogs are always pretty quiet. I've never had a complaint about them. They really don't bark. Since I work from home, I walk them about three times a day. And remember, at this point, he doesn't know what floor I live on. At least I didn't think so. A few days later, I decided to go have dinner with one of my best friends. I left my apartment for literally 40 minutes because I try not to leave my dogs alone for too long. When I get off the elevator at my floor, I see the guy trying to open my door. He was pushing the door with his shoulder. I yelled at him from across the hallway and said, what are you doing? Then he looked shocked. Then he said, oh, sorry. I heard noise in your apartment and I wanted to make sure your dogs are okay. How does he know I have dogs? Part 3 is up. I caught my neighbor trying to open my apartment door. Should I be worried? Disclaimer is not my story time. I said on Instagram. When I caught him red-handed trying to open my door, I asked him what he was doing. He said that he walked by and heard my dogs making really loud noises. And that he just wanted to make sure that they were okay. My dogs were making zero noises. And how did he know I had two dogs? And how did he know what floor I lived on? I was officially creeped out. He saw the look on my face and said, Oh, I'm so sorry if I made you uncomfortable. I was just trying to check on your dogs. That's when I told him that he didn't need to do that and that it was okay and he could leave now. That's when he started freaking out. He said, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I can tell I made you uncomfortable and I feel like I've ruined everything. That's when I told him that he hadn't ruined anything because nothing was going on. Then he said, Maybe you should give me your phone number so that if something like this happens again, I can just call you. I said no immediately. I told him he could leave again and he walked away. He's halfway down the hallway and says, oh, we should still catch up for some coffee or something. What? I am concerned, but I don't know if I'm just freaking out for no reason. Could he have really been trying to help? Or am I right to think that he was trying to break in? I emailed my landlord and they said that they've never had a problem with him before. What the heck should I do? Am I the asshole for singing a song to my wife at our wedding and making her angry? I just got married last week and my wife and I are both in our 30s. I am Mexican and she is American, but we both grew up in the U.S. and both of our families know both languages. My wife planned every bit of the wedding and was a very controlling and nervous bride, but alright, I get it, she was stressed. During the reception, I went to the band and asked them to play a song for me to sing to my new wife. It was Te Amare by Miguel Bosé and it was the song from our first date in a really bad Mexican restaurant. It became a joke between us, so I thought it would be great. Am I the asshole for singing a song to my wife at our wedding and making her angry? It was the song from our first date in a really bad Mexican restaurant, so it became a long-standing joke between us. 
The guest really did love this song and my mother-in-law even cried. She told me that it was really beautiful, but my wife seemed upset. I asked her what's wrong and she said that I'm the asshole for taking the spotlight to enforce my ethnicity and not letting the band sing a song for us. I personally think this gesture is beautiful and if my girlfriend did this at our wedding, I would quite literally pass out. Her reaction just seems really weird to me. Am I the asshole for not covering my scars around my boyfriend's family? I, 25 female, have significant scarring on both of my arms and legs. They're over a decade old and I'm pretty used to covering them up for work and other situations. I no longer feel a sense of shame when wearing clothes that show them and that's taken a lot of work on my end. My boyfriend of 10 months invited me to go with him to his family's cookout. I've met his parents before and they never said anything about my scars but there will be other family members. I wore shorts and a tank top which was modest considering that it was over 95 degrees. His sister approached me talking about my scars and said that she doesn't want her kids to see all that.